Hey guys, so today we are talking a little bit about another general Unreal topic, updating. As you may know, from time to time some developers still work on their projects and you get this update available inside of the Unreal Launcher. So for example, if 3.1 may be released in the future, um, you will get this message. And some of you might think, okay, cool, I press the update button and all my projects are automatically updated to the latest version. But of course, this is not what is happening here because the projects you created, they are in a different location and this would most likely break all of your stuff. So Unreal is not doing this. They are just updating the local cache folder and you will need to upgrade um, yeah, by hand mostly. And the thing is, there are some things you need to consider in order for this to work without any problems. And I'm going to show you what the best workflow is to actually go in there and prepare yourself to be update ready. So I have a project in here and let's say, well, this is the uh, 3.1 currently. So I have worked in there and made some changes. For example, let's take this radial button here and I went in there and modified it the way I needed it. For example, let's put something in the blueprint. And by the way, this is the way you should not do it. I'm just going to show you what will happen in this case. So let's put a print string in there and also make some visual changes that we can better see what's actually happening. So let's not go for a blue material, but maybe a white one. So now this is your project. You have done changes to the code and maybe depending on the project, a lot of changes. So now you downloaded the latest version from the marketplace. So this is the version 3.1. And in there you also have all the content. So what will happen if you copy this over now? Let's go into the same folder and we just copy it. It will ask if we will replace it and we can either say yes or no. If we say no, you don't have the changes we have made. So you still have the old version. And if you hit yes, your version will be replaced and all the changes you did will be lost. So both of them are not a great solution. So in this case, I'm going to replace it. So now I have all the latest version changes from 3.1. But if we open it up again, you can see the changes we made in 3.1 are there. I just um, changed it visually. So nothing is in the code anymore, what you did. And also your color is not in there anymore. So basically all the work you have put in there is lost. So now I'm showing how you can do it the right way. In this case, we're going to create a child blueprint from our parent radial button and we open it up. And this child blueprint will have a name you can give it. And this way we will not be able to replace anything of it. So for example, we go in there, make the screen and also make the same change in the, in the tick function to print a simple string. So now you have this object this, that is totally yours. We don't have any control over it, but we have control over the parent. So we can do changes in the parent, change the logic, modify some things. And now if I go in and try to upgrade, so I'm again going to copy the latest version from the marketplace, from the launcher and copy it over into the very same folder again. So the very same process we did earlier and he's going again if to ask if we want to replace it and again we say yes because we want the latest changes from the marketplace so now if you open up the parent you can see we have made some changes this time the button is yellow so our changes are now in there in the parent everything is working perfectly fine Also the code is like we have set it up to be. So 
you have all the changes but if you open up your child you can see the green color is still there and your print string is also still there so this way you have all the changes we did and all the changes you did and as we lo as long as we don't change some really really big things this will work for most cases and also all, all the other child actors that are in there have the changes we have made so you can be sure that you have all the latest changes of course you don't always need to create a child blueprint for example everything inside of our experience folder let's open something up here for example if you want to change let's say the the drawer here you can create a child blueprint but you can also just duplicate it because this is not a core framework mechanic and chances are we will not modify this very much and if you gave this another name you can make sure that you don't break any stuff just don't work with the original one because if we do changes to it we will overwrite yours but if you create a copy of it everything is perfectly fine and you can do whatever you want in there you can see the parent class on the top right is an actor so it's really just a basic actor with a drag and a ledge component and you can do whatever you want inside of there if we do changes to the component drag or the component ledge you will get the latest changes so this is working and all the changes you do in here like adding a light will not be overwritten by us so now you can drag and drop this into your level and if we make any updates this will also not break we also have other examples like the bow there's a lot lot of logic in there and if you want to make changes to this I would also recommend that you duplicate it because otherwise again all your changes will be lost if you try to update your project so we are going ahead and just do a, um, a duplicate of this asset and make sure that it has a different name so let's duplicate it it's called your bow and in there you can do all the changes you want without being afraid that we will overwrite something in there because this way it's your your object and you can do whatever you want inside of there so as you can see a lot of these update functionalities have to do with the way you work so you can really make sure that your project will be updatable and it really depends on how you work. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.